decided today to lower the target for the federal funds rate by a quarter of a percentage point to a range of two percent to two and a quarter percent. 美国联准会宣布降息一码，这是两千零八年金融海啸以来首度降息。十年来的第一次联准会降息，对股市原本是利多，却因为鲍尔这一句话让美股狂跌。And we're thinking of it as essentially in the nature of a mid-cycle adjustment to policy. Let me be clear. What I, what I said was it's not it's not the beginning of a long series of rate cuts. 市场原本预期接下来联准会还会继续降息，不过整场记者会上，主席鲍尔都没有给出暗示，更被形容是因势降息，让市场一片错愕，大失所望。美股道琼指数收盘大跌三百三十三点，纳斯达克和标普五百跌幅也都超过百分之一。We we never take into account political considerations. There's no place in our discussions for that. 先前就多次批评联准会不降息的美国总统川普也泼文，再次抨击鲍尔，让大家失望了，因为降息幅度根本不够多。Well, I don't look at this as a significant move in the sense. 分析认为，联准会决定降息与否，取决于美洲贸易战谈判以及欧洲和中国经济成长趋缓，造成对美国商品需求下降。联准会一个决定，正指金融贸易全面联动。三立新闻赖宏报道。